Hello everyone, my name is Maltmadi and welcome back to my Minecraft survival series. So, last episode we made this beast of a prismarine farm. I love it. Since I built it, it's really been growing in me and I absolutely love it. But now we have a slight problem. Yeah, um, fishes. We have tons of raw cod laying around and that's an issue. And how to solve it? With villagers. Those with barrels, I forgot how they're called. Uh, fishermen, yes. Since the beginning, I've been using this sad little hole to breed them, but it's not ideal, let's be clear. <laughs> and also, there are no villagers in here. Hmm. So I was stretching my brain thinking about how to make villager breeding more entertaining. And I think I have a crazy idea. So our village looks pretty nice, hmm. but the skyline, it needs some work, because you know, there is nothing up there. <laughs> so I'm going to make some balloons. But Maddie, what balloons have to do with villager breeder? Well, let me tell you. Why not make one inside one of the balloons? The babies will just, you know, fall down from the sky and then we build some kind of building to catch them and collect them. Maybe zombify them. I don't know. I know it sounds uh, strange, <laughs> but it's going to be so much fun, just trust me. Okay, now I will just stop talking and I will start getting some materials. The first thing will be wool. Do I have any white? Um, not really. I guess we have to grow our population of sheep and collect wool manually. But besides white, I would like some colors. Um, cyan and, and green. Why not? And after a while I managed to collect more wool I am not sure if that's going to be enough, but I want to start building. But before we can start making those balloons, we actually need a villager breeder in the sky. <laughs> that's why I have tons of scaffolding on me and I think that everyone saw a simple breeder, so I'll make it very quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. They're going to stand right here and now the most tricky part is to get them here. Uh, villagers, I mean. And we need two of them, so I do believe that the easiest way to transport them would be to just make a staircase with railways and send them here in the minecarts. So like, give me a moment to make it, that's going to be a pain. It's done, you can imagine how painful that was, but the hardest part is done and now we can get some villagers inside. So let's take some minecarts and carrots, of course. Here you have some beds, okay. Would you like some carrots, maybe? Uh, have some more... Oh, hearts, that's good! And hello there! And now I need to get you in the minecart. He keeps opening those doors. Wait, I have an idea! Okay, um, minecart here. And some blocks. Hello, hello there! Oh, oh, wait, stay. Uh, um, okay! Okay, that was easier than I expected, to be honest. And up he goes, great. Let's see. And he's all the way up, that's amazing. Now we need to wait for you to fully grow and in the meantime we can try to get him a friend. Okay, we got a second one. And before we send you up, I need to check on your friend. Okay, you are fully grown up, um, so let's see. <gasps> not good, not good, that's not good. Don't fall. Okay, we have a problem, so you won't go down, but if I remove those rails, um, will you... Oh, hello there! Okay, uh, jump jump here, destroy that. Now we can repair that... Where, where is he? Oh, oh, he's in! <laughs> that was easy, okay. <laughs> and people are saying that you're annoying. Okay, let's prepare a road and get the second one here. And up you go. Okay, and while you're growing, I can now destroy the staircase. I am proud to say that they are in their position and I destroyed all of the temporary glass and stairs and now we can finally get to building those balloons around them. Just imagine, one big one in the middle and then maybe one here and the third one maybe somewhere here. Oh, that's going to be awesome! Okay, but now I can say that without further ado, let's get to time lapse.
So my replay mod decided that it would run out of memory and I checked that, I found a problem, but the rest of the files won't open. So this is what I've done. We have three balloons in total and the breeder is inside the biggest one, in here. Of course I put carpets on top so bad guys won't spawn up here and there they are. We can just throw carrots or, or something and they will breed. And the baby will come down here. Um, for now I blocked it so they won't fall to, to their death until I make a collection system somewhere down below. <laughs> to be honest, I like it so much that maybe I'll make some more of those balloons in other places, but that's maybe in between episodes. I absolutely love it. But now we actually need to build a place underneath the breeder, so we need to make some terraforming and flatten this space up a little. I was thinking... <laughs> I have a collection of wither skulls, why not use them and make ourselves a new beacon? Okay, so we need to get the skull and what was it? Uh, I haven't done that in a while. Uh, so sand, not soil, if I'm not mistaken. And now let's place it and bum, bum, something's wrong. Maybe it needs more space. Let me just, huh. Okay, I am stupid. Yes, I am correct that I am stupid. We need three of them. <laughs> I promise I've done this before. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Huh, that was easy. I didn't take any damage. Okay, now we can set it up. Phase two, and now we can start terraforming. And it just started raining. Okay. Uh, okay, quick sleep. So I did a thing, I marked out roughly the shape and I was looking through my old builds and I found this one and I really believe that it'll be the perfect shape and size. So I will try to recreate it, but now I need to clean up the mess and get more materials for our new build. So firstly, I got a lot and I mean a lot of spruce. And of course I stripped it all. I checked out my different block supplies and I realized that I am almost out of calcite. So I went to the mountains and got a handful of it. Then I flew even further for those small ferns. And since I was so close to the swamp, I got myself some lily pads and veins just because you can never have enough. So I think I have everything. Um, the outline doesn't look that big, but in reality, I have almost all of those shulkers filled to the brim with different blocks. So I will stop talking now. I'll destroy the beacon and start building the collection area building thingy thing. <laughs> Sniffers are sniffing very loudly today, but the outside is done. I really like how it turned out, but yeah, the inside needs some work. <laughs> Villagers will be dropping from up here. I left a hole right under the bones. And I think that before I'll get to finishing the inside and detailing, I would like to build a little water stream and place to, to I guess, store <laughs> the babies. <laughs> just to make sure that it's working. And later we will have all of this empty space to work with and a small upstairs area here. Okay, I did a thing, a simple water stream transportation system. So villagers will fall right here and they will be pushed and then they plonk here. <laughs> we have a minecart to collect them. 
Hopefully it'll work. Okay, let's see. Here you have some carrots and hearts, good. And I forgot to open the system. Down he goes. And yay, it worked. We have a villager in here. I guess we have a villager bungee jumping without bungee. <laughs> Just imagine once in a while, a baby villager falling from the sky. <laughs> amazing and now we can focus on making this place pretty and functional i made a zombie fire but we need a zombie inside so let's get it from here whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> i think i had a small heart attack <laughs> don't you dare sneak in on me like this there are two zombies coming would you like a sword okay you didn't pick that oh the second one did okay uh, so you can die now. I need only one. And come in. And block it up. And done. Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> and now like that. And you shouldn't be able to escape. Great. Uh, you're no sir. Never mind. I think that it's now time to test the system. And plunk. Um, that worked. And now, will you be a fisherman? Okay. I didn't bring emeralds. Okay, you are locked. And now you go. Okay, Johnny is working great. Okay. And now you can go to the waiting room. And maybe to the last spot. If I'm correct. And now we need three more and then we will cure them. While they're growing, I'll make some potions. And let's get some more carrots. Okay, now we have a problem, because he doesn't have traits that we want, uh, so... Uh, wait a second. Great success. <laughs> Will you have good traits? Yes, you do. To Johnny. And to the third spot. Then it was just a matter of time. I was breeding, trading and zombifying or sending them to lava. In the meantime, I made the chamber look somewhat more acceptable than the hole in the ground. <laughs> and now you can see it's working great. Also, while I was waiting, I made the hold inside more detailed. I added some bookshelves, greenery and I even make a small dripstone farm under the water stream. Okay, there are four of them now. Let's cure them. Potion and apples. And now we have some problems to solve. Okay, this one, uh, which is the first one, doesn't has uh, the trait that we need. So I added this lever here and we can send him to the chamber because he's just not useful for us. It should work. Let's see. Great. Those three I want to zombie fight again and lower their prices even more. So also with the help of this lever, we can send them back to Johnny. Potions, apples, and now we have amazing traits. So we basically have almost infinite supply of emeralds, as long as we have tons of dead fishes, of course. In between episodes, I will move them to the prismarine farm, but that will take too long to show you here. And I'm running out of time to make this video. <laughs> Now we have fully working breeding and zombifying area for villagers and I am so happy of how it turned out. The fact that I managed to make the babies fall out of the balloons, <laughs> that's just perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel. And I just quickly want to thank you for hitting the next subscribers milestone. There are over 600 of you and I am so happy to be able to make those videos for you guys. Anyway, thank you for watching once again and I will see you in the next one. Bye!